My name is Megan Barron. Um, I did my undergrad at the University of Virginia and I'm currently working on my PhD in marine biology at the University of California, San Diego, Scripps Institution of Oceanography. Um, my undergrad degree was a Bachelor's of Science in Biology and I also minored in French for fun. Well, some schools have two different options for biology. They'll have a Bachelor's of Science and then a Bachelor's of Arts. Um, I did my degree, the Bachelor's of Science, which is more science heavy. So it's kind of interdisciplinary. To study biology, you also need to take courses in chemistry, uh, calculus, uh, maybe even physics, depending on your school's requirements. But biology in general is just the study of life. And there are different focuses. Some schools let you study molecular and cellular biology. Others are more interested in evolutionary biology. Um, if you're interested in medicine or pharmacy school, you might focus on human biology. Um, at the University of Virginia, you only have a general biology degree, but I know here at UCSD, they have multiple biology degrees where you can really hone in on what you're interested in. Uh, people who are interested in studying biology or just science in general are probably those who have a lot of questions and who are always trying to answer them. Um, I Specifically, I am studying marine biology and I'm doing a research PhD, so I'm constantly designing experiments and trying to figure out how things work. Um, if you have a curious mind, then you'll probably be interested. Um, a lot of other friends of mine who studied biology were going down the pre-med path or pre-pharmacy school path, and so biology was a good way for them to learn all about the human body and to incorporate all of the requirements they had anyways for applying to med school. So they had to take biology, they had to take microbiology, they needed to take organic chemistry and physics, and those were also required for their um, applications to med school. So it kind of made sense for them to make that their major instead of also majoring in something different like English and having to take 25 credits each quarter. So um, also if you're interested in going to graduate school for science like biology, then you would probably want to your undergraduate major in biology. So I graduated in the spring and then I moved out here in the summer and started my classes in the fall. Um, I have a lot of friends who are in my graduate program who took a few years off or did a master's first. I think if you know exactly what you want to study during your PhD, you should just go straight through. Um, if you're not really sure, then a master's degree is a great opportunity to test out a few different subjects or to maybe find what type of research you're really interested in. Um, having your master's and then getting your PhD doesn't put you at any advantage over somebody who went straight from undergrad to their PhD. It's like once you're there, you're there. So if you want to save money and not pay for a master's degree, I would say go straight to your PhD because when you're a PhD student, you get paid, um, which is really nice. Um, and then. Something I didn't mention earlier was you also have the option of going to veterinarian school with an undergraduate degree in biology. Um, so that's something to keep in mind too because I had a quarter life crisis and I was like med school, grad school, vet school. So you have lots of options. Um, if you're not really sure what you want to do, you can also apply for a job as a lab tech, which a few of my friends have done before applying to med school. So you can get more research experience and get paid by a lab or a university to kind of build up your resume and decide whether it's something you really want to do. So that's just doing um, experiments in lab, but not necessarily your own experiments or publishing or anything like that. Um, and then once you go to graduate school, um, I'm in a five to six year program. I'm studying um, bicarbonate sensing mechanisms in coral reefs. So, but other people who also studied biology are studying whales and dolphins, so you can really go in any direction, and that's what graduate school is about. You go from studying biology in general and taking all those different courses to focusing on maybe one organism and one pathway and one enzyme, but you study it for five years, so you become the expert on that thing, and everyone in the future will come to you when they have questions on it. So once again, I did the Bachelor's of Science in Biology during my undergrad. Um, the difference between the Bachelor's of Science and the Bachelor's of Art are just the number of required courses. Sometimes for the Bachelor's of Art, you only need to take like one math, and then for the Bachelor's of Science, you had to take two semesters of calculus. Um, similarly, you had to take organic chemistry for the Bachelor's of Science, and you didn't have to for the Bachelor's of Arts. And then, at least at my school, they had a list of strongly suggested courses, um, and I went ahead and I took those, and those included organic chemistry, physics, 
physics lab, sorry, organic chemistry lab. The, the lecture was required, but the lab was optional. Um, and then you are often required to take like 33 credits in upper division courses. And so some of those are lab classes like microbiology lab or animal behavior, and others might be bioinformatics, and that's just like twice a week, Tuesday, Thursday course. Um, my favorite class was animal behavior. Uh, we got to uh, work with hamsters, and I actually still have my hamster. Um, but we, we learned all about circadian rhythms, and we, it was a lot about designing experiments and figuring out controls, and it kind of gave the experience that I needed later on when I'm trying to design my own experiments. I would suggest taking uh, as many math courses as possible. For example, taking AP Calc if your school offers it, and definitely AP Statistics if you can at your school. My high school wasn't very uh, science heavy, so the only AP science class we had was AP Biology, and it was actually in taking that class that I figured out that it was what I really wanted to study when I went to college. Um, but even if they don't offer the AP version, it's definitely worth taking biology or life science, uh, chemistry, and if you have time for it, physics. Um, physics is kind of a surprise. You don't really expect that to be a big part of biology, but it is like blood flow. It's Biology, like all science in general, is very interdisciplinary, so those are the classes that I would suggest taking. Maybe getting involved in like after-school activities too. So. I think it's really important to find a good uh, work-life balance. I personally didn't have much of a life in high school, and even during undergrad, I think that there were times where I took myself too seriously, and now I'm here and I'm doing what I love, and I'm also trying to explore more activities, so I'm trying to learn how to surf. Um, not very good at it. I got cut. I had to get stitches. Um, but trying to like hike and, and be outside and just be more social and have more fun. Um, I think that if you're enjoying yourself and you're happy in general, then you're going to do better in school. It's not worth making yourself miserable.